And that was the first campaign. It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're smart of them. Achieved our objectives. Man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? What's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be real. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one too, that's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Hmm. a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I want to talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right. Let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapon hot. Strike the floor with you, Dad.
Changing center path. There's never just one route. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Pretty cool so far. Your DNA can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode. Like opening your eyes for the first time, right? All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter that says you can do it. Okay, there's where we start wall running and stuff like that, I gotta say, guys. It's pretty neat. Let's try it. You got a wall run to get across the gap. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red?
attack mode info is synced across the team. One of us sees something, we all see it. Even through cover. Keep moving up! Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including... Definitely not used to these drones. 